and they are fed one to two times per week to ensure health and facilitate the skin removal process. They are round and less active, which is a sign that they have had enough to eat. Their skin color is very diverse, helping to create products of different colors. Python breeding time usually takes place in spring and summer. Each reproduction can have up to hundreds of fruits. Before giving birth, people often bathe the mother python to remove dirt and stimulate the laying process. This procedure requires careful care and a deep understanding of python behavior. After about a year of rearing, these pythons will be collected for data Each area regularly handles 50 to 200 birds per day. The data retrieval process is carried out carefully and professionally. First, workers will remove the python's head before proceeding to separate the skin from its base. Python experiences the skinning process using a small sharp knife to delicately separate the skin from the base, creating a complete piece of snake skin as the ultimate goal. Careful handling is important to prevent any tears in the leather as breaks will reduce its value. This treatment process combined with clean water helps the filtration process go faster. However, snake fishing is usually done after the animal has been strengthened. The remaining parts of them after the skin is removed will be turned into special dishes. People can make the most of their parts to create high-value products. After removing the skin and removing fat and flesh, a natural dyeing process is performed using dyes from herbal plants. This dyeing process not only creates unique colors but also preserves the natural and luxurious look of snakeskin. After being dyed, their skin is often dried in the sun or a dry environment. This drying condition helps the leather retain its softness and natural shine, creating a final product with the most luxurious and unique beauty. With high demand for Python leather products, they have become an industry boasting a worth of billions of dollars. The demand for Python leather products provides a large source of income for some poor people. One of the reasons that python leather is popular for fashion accessories is because it is so durable and sturdy. It can withstand a lot of impact and wear, perfect for those who want to use the accessory every day. Python is a durable material that, when exposed to different weather conditions, still retains its luxurious beauty for its users. Python leather fashion products have been trending since the 1980s and are considered luxury today. They are still sought after by fashion enthusiasts with an average price of about $5,000 per product. Do you want to own a handbag with this unique pattern?
I was told that the most expensive Python leather handbag can cost up to $200,000. This is a testament to the special value of this type of leather in the fashion industry with famous brands such as Gucci, Louis Vuitton, and others. The Python leather processing industry generates profits of about $23.5 billion, contributing to improving the economy for livestock farmers. Besides the high economic benefits, there are still mixed opinions. The use of python leather in the fashion industry has faced opposition from animal rights organizations who say the meat processing and skinning processes are both inhumane. So how do we balance between taking leather and preserving animals? Increase awareness of the python leather production process and the impacts of leather use on the environment and animals. Aid after watching the video above, do you see that python skin brings high economic value? Comment number one if you already own a product made from python leather. Comment zero if you find the products too high. Thank you for watching the entire video. Like and subscribe to the channel to watch the next videos. In 2017, Texas was known as the state with the largest number of horses in the United States, accounting for about 14% of the country's total horse population. During the past decade, Texas has flourished in the equine breeding and recreation industry. The horse farms here are not merely a place to raise horses, but also large gardens, creating conditions for millions of horses to develop and to show their strength. Horse Ranch in Texas not reaches the scale of millions of horses, but also shows the diversity of horses. Here you can encounter horses of different breeds, from crossbreds to thoroughbred horses bred for racing, sports, and recreation. The barn system here is quite simple. Iron fences surround the breeding area. To make sure the horses are always in a safe area. The horses will be provided with more food such as hay hay. To be loaded with nutrients for the evening. The horses will rest overnight at the farm. At dawn, the horses will be released to the grasslands to feed themselves. Every grassland you go to has areas of puddles. They will live in this area until the amount of grass here is not enough to provide them with food. Each horse typically consumes about 2.2% to 3.7% of their body weight during feeding per day. This equates to about 20 to 30 pounds of fresh or dried grass daily, depending on the horse's weight and the condition of its thigh muscles. This helps to ensure an adequate supply of energy 
and nutrients for the horse's daily performance and health. The reproduction and maturation of ponies is a magical journey, full of growth and sublimation from birth to adulthood. Now let's explore the exciting journey of the ponies across the vast fields. The mare is pregnant for about 11 months, or 340 days. During pregnancy, mares receive special care to ensure the health of both the mother and the newborn. When it's time to give birth, mares will usually look for a safe and a convenient place to welcome the new pony. When new ponies are born, they're often weak and cannot stand up immediately. Usually about one to two hours, the foal will have enough strength to stand up and start looking for a food source. In the first few days of life, they will interact and learn from their mothers about how to adapt to their surroundings. In the early stages of life, the fall will grow very quickly. The weight of the fall increases by 4-5% to per week. After about 6 months, the ponies have gained enough weight and strength to engage in breeding and activities and interact with the herd. Ponies need about two to three years to fully mature and reach the size and strength of an adult horse. During this time, they will go through important stages of development and learn to adapt to their surroundings and society. The weight of the foal may vary from a breed to another according to their environment, but typically ranges from 30 kilograms to 50 kilograms at birth. During the first stage of development, the weight of the foal can increase by 5 to 4 percent per week. In the first few months of life, ponies learn a lot from their mothers. They learn to forge, avoid danger, and interact with other members of the herd. The mother horse also teaches her cups how to focus and defend themselves in harsh natural environments.
If you like this video, leave us a comment below in the comments section. The agricultural land area in the state of Georgia accounts for about 57%. This is an important center in the beef and dairy cattle industries. How Georgia farmers raise 8.4 million cows will be answered in this video. Cattle farming in Georgia is concentrated mainly in the southern and southeastern grasslands of the state. These are areas with a temperate climate and fertile soil that are very suitable for cattle farming. Most of the cow farms here are located in areas with such large grass fields. Every morning the farm owner here will drive a machine to harvest grass in the fields to feed the cows. The work is much simpler because there are machines to support it. Normally the food for cows will be dry straw and corn silage. However, when grass grows well in the fields, harvesting grass for cows to eat will take place every day. When calves begin to wean from their mother's milk, they will be transported to livestock farms for care. These farms are mainly used to raise both dairy and beef cattle. They will be brought here and raised according to each age group. Every day the workers here will make milk for them to drink. In order for the calves to drink milk evenly, they use a nipple system attached to the milk crates. The milk crates will be divided into areas so that calves outside can also the average weather temperature here is about 17 degrees Celsius, which is a very suitable temperature for them to grow healthily. On the farm, their resting area will be covered with a thick layer of straw. Very clean, right? Calves will have their weight and health checked regularly. This is an automatic weighing system. They just need to go into the scale, and the breeders will check the data. When they gradually mature, they will be separated and raised separately. The amount of food they consume will also be higher, accounting for 20% of their body weight. These beef cows need to absorb more nutrients. Almost all of these farms have machines to support feeding. This helps the livestock industry in Georgia take a new step forward in development. They will be on the farm mainly at night. Most of their day will be spent freely grazing in the fields. They will go in groups and reach green grass fields. This is the farm's private grass field and has fences. Therefore, farm owners do not need to manage the number of cows. Somewhere in the grasslands, there are still attacks between bulls. They are using their heads to attack the opponent to gain territory. They are almost the strongest cows in the herd. The battle will end when one child gives up. After reaching a certain weight, they will be taken to the cow auction area. The people who buy cows here are farm owners from other areas 
or wealthy people who come to buy the best cows. Their price can be several times more expensive than that of other breeds of cattle. The quality of beef here is of concern to many people because of its living environment and animal feed. The auction was very tense until the cows found a new owner. What kind of life will dairy cows have? They are brought to modern farms and live in a quite comfortable environment. Every day they will be provided with a variety of nutritious foods, such as cereals, cornmeal, etc. Modern machines will support providing food to the cows. Each amount of food will be directly measured by the machine so that the cows can provide the most essential nutrients. The cow massage system and automatic door help cows have the most stable living space. Robots to clean up cow waste will work regularly so that cows can live in the best environment. This is a milking factory near the farm. They will be brought here to be milked. The entire system here is completely automatic. They will go into the milking area one after another. Here, they will clean the floor after each milking. Each milking tube will be attached to the cow's udder in turn. The system is controlled into operation for irrigation when a sufficient amount of milk is collected. They will leave immediately after squeezing. After harvesting the milk, the milk truck will take it to the processing and canning factory. The whole process happened very quickly and carefully. The processing process ensures food hygiene and safety. Where do you usually drink milk produced from? Although the dairy industry in Georgia has grown, the state's milk production rate is still not comparable to states in the western or central United States. However, Georgia's contribution remains significant in ensuring a diverse and safe milk supply for the nationwide dairy market. The beef and dairy farming industry in Georgia has undergone a process of strong development, contributing significantly to the supply of fresh beef and milk for the people. With its modern livestock model and quality farms. Georgia has demonstrated its strength in the agricultural industry and built a strong position as an important location in the livestock industry in the United States. So you have seen the farms in Georgia. Do you like this video? Thank you Please so leave your much comments guys below to let us know. Video. Let's watch the so next video. So since we don't really have any clue on what kind of difficulties that you could be facing in your farms, please don't forget to share all the problems you're facing and uh, obstacles you're going through, as this will tremendously help us with our upcoming videos.